Okay, now that we understand the biomechanics of our body throughout the shot, and we're shooting from the ground up, and really how important our, our legs and, and our drop into the shot is, and the positioning of our hands and our head, we kind of want to talk a little bit further uh, about your elbow into the shot and understanding that really, as, as Elodia basketball players, we want to be sh uh, shooters, we want to shoot in straight lines. Okay, it's, re it's really important that we get our kids to understand that we're shooting in straight lines. Okay, as we got in the shooter's pocket, we're load blocking and bracing, we're, uh, we're blocking and bracing with our hands. We're really in a position right now to score. If you look at the basketball and my positioning of my body, my elbow and my wrist are directly over my right knee. We're shooting right off our right eye, and it's directly over our right toe. And as our kids shoot from the ground up, it's going to start with our toes from the ground up. We're going to lift, but we're shooting in straight lines. There's no left or right motion in this shot, okay? As we go, we start from the ground up, and we're shooting in straight lines. And if we can eliminate that left and right motion out of our shot, we can eliminate 50% of our misses. You miss a shot left, right, long, or short. And by taking the left and right out of our shot, now we got a better chance to be successful. If we're just looking at long and short as our misses, we got a much greater uh, uh, chance to, to be able to shoot great percentages. Let's talk about positioning of our elbow and our wrist throughout the shot. We want the elbow and the wrist to form a U. Very important. As you're watching kids, coaches, we want to be wrist shooters and the elbow and the wrist form the U. Watch their arms. Arms will tend to be here. You'll get arm shooters from kids and they get their arm involved. And you see that mo movement there. We want to shoot up, not out. So we want to take the basketball and be shoot the ball up, not out at the rim. So getting our kids to understand, and kids at young age are going to take their arms and they're really going to use their arms for strength. And that's where we've got to get them to understand that our lower half needs to be our strength. If you want to go back further, just drop a little deeper and use your legs a little more and get our kids to really focus on lower half and have great mechanics at an early age so as they gain strength when they get older, they got, they, they're going to they're gonna have the proper fundamentals to be great shooters uh, as they get at an older age. Okay. As we talk more about form shooting, a great way to teach kids and to keep it simple with our kids is to teach them through the acronym BEEF. B-E-E-F. B stands for balance. The first E stands for eye on target. The second E stands for elbow in. And the F stands for follow through. Great way to teach kids to get them to concentrate on the little aspects of the shot. That it's, the shot is so intricate that any little thing can go wrong. And if we can get them to focus on those four areas, the balance, the eye on target, the elbow in, and the follow through, it can simplify our teaching methods to our kids. Okay, let's talk a little bit about balance. So when we're playing the game of basketball and we catch, we want to be ready to score every time we catch the ball. Every time we catch it, we want to be ready to score. And so by doing that, we put ourselves in position to be in an attack mode for 94 feet, okay? So, we catch a pass and I'm facing this direction, the first thing I want to do is square up to the rim. I can use a left foot front pivot from this direction, put the ball in the shooter's pocket, and from this angle right here, now I'm square to the goal, feet wider than shoulder width, knees flexed, I'm in a position of balance. Basketball is a game of balance, it's no different when we're rising up to shoot, okay? Form shooting, whether I'm in this direction, we can use a right foot front pivot and really square ourselves up, get our shoulders squared to the rim. So balance is important throughout the entire shot. When we jump up and jump down, we really want to focus on going straight up, straight down with our shots. Straight up, straight down through our shots. Watch kids, sometimes they're missing, their shoulders will be falling backwards, they're fading away, okay? That could be a point of emphasis as you watch your kids and try to, try to pay attention to balance. But really, balance starts with the base. And if we can get ourselves in a great base, we've got a chance to be successful as shooters. So balance, the next one is eye on target. Every time you catch, I don't care where, what, where you are on the floor. If we're going 80 feet away, I need to square up and find my goal. If we're going right here, 15 feet away, every time I catch, I need to square up and find my goal. And we teach our kids that here at Elodia because we want them to understand that they might have teammates standing down there and we can be great passers and create opportunities for our other teammates to be successful. 
but we don't want to be missing them if they're standing down there wide open. So every time you catch, we want to be in attack mode, we want to square up and find our goal. I talk to kids a lot, what do they want to look at when they're shooting? I like to shoot at the front of the rim. I like to look at the front of the rim. Wherever I am, I look at the front of the rim. I don't care where you look, where any of your kids look, as long as they look at the same place every time. Okay? We want them to be consistent through their shot. And so we want them to have consistency when they find the spot on the rim. And so for me, I recommend to look at the front of the rim. Some kids look at the back of the rim. Whatever they feel comfortable with, we just want them to be consistent and look at it every single time. So balance, catch the ball, good athletic stance, ball's in the shooter's pocket, eye on target, immediately find the goal. So we got balance, eye on target, second E is elbow in. Vital to us being able to shoot in straight lines is to put our elbow in a position in tight against our body and we want to be wrist shooters so we got that U formed between our elbow and our wrist okay but if we can just get kids to think get your elbow in it'll keep them from being in this position and this position brings this motion into our shot and that is the left right movement that we're trying to eliminate okay so elbow in allows us and gives us an opportunity to shoot in straight lines so balance eye on target elbow in and the F stands for follow through we want to be wrist shooters so it's important for us to be successful we want to use our wrist we don't want to use our arms so getting kids to understand that we're shooting up and not out okay we want to shoot up and not out is going to be huge for us as coaches in helping them be successful shooters so that by shooting up we put a nice arc on the shot it's a softer shot our misses got a better chance to be successful. So let's try it right here. We got balance, starting from the ground up, eye on target, elbow in, follow through. Okay? Balance, eye on target, elbow in, follow through. And we got a chance to make it. Balance, eye on target, elbow in, follow through. And even our misses, that's a good miss right there, bounced around the rim. Balance, eye on target, elbow in, follow through. Balance, Eye on target, elbow in, follow through. And the key to us being good shooters is to try to get us to repeat it every single time. We want to repeat the same shot every single time. And you can have kids without great form that are very good shooters because they spend a lot of time learning to shoot a certain way and they, they're able to understand their shot good enough. And that's kind of our goal here at Elodia is we want all our kids to understand their shot good enough that they can fix it when they're not making it. Okay, let's talk a little bit about positioning of the ball. I love to teach kids, when you're working on your shot, put your index finger on that air hole. The index finger is the last finger to touch the ball. Some kids think it's your middle finger. A lot of times as coaches, if we get them to practice putting their index finger on the air hole, then we can watch the rotation of the ball and if it's sideways we know that they're doing something that they shouldn't be doing with the shot and so what we're trying to do is get them to understand that if we can get our hands in the middle of the ball and shoot it off our index finger that it allows us as kind of a checkpoint system we can check the rotation another common mistake of kids especially younger kids their hands aren't big enough and so it's something that it's okay as they they're young but as they grow up we really need them to get the ball out of their palm basketball is a game of played with its fingertips whether you're dribbling passing or shooting you're using your fingertips and with your palm should not be involved in the shot all right so we want to keep an eye on that in the positioning of their hands as they're playing when you're shooting the basketball great form shooters we should we should shoot with one hand okay we should shoot with one hand the offhand has nothing to do with the shot. It's just for strength and balance. And so we need to understand that as coaches, if their left hand gets involved, the positioning of their left hand a lot of times, you know, creates problems for them, okay? So the left hand has nothing to do with our shot, and the offhand should have nothing to do with the shot. Balance, eye on target, elbow in, follow through. It's a great way to teach simple mechanics and fundamentals of the shot and it's really important for us as coaches to understand that we want to shoot from the ground up 
We want to get the ball in the shooter's pocket. We want to drop into our shot, get our elbow in, form that U, and really get the ball in the proper position. And we really want to make us straight line shooters. We want to shoot in straight lines so that we can eliminate half our misses.